Hey there, and welcome to a video about my Apple IIc computer and how you can get HDMI and VGA out of it in 2025. In this video, I'm going to show you how that's done, and I'm also going to tell you how I acquired this machine from a family member um, way back in 2002. So sit back and relax, and we'll get right into it. As mentioned in my intro, I got this machine back in 2002 basically when my grandfather had passed away. My grandparents bought this Apple IIc back in 1984 when it first came out. They also bought an Apple III computer and they were used for business. The Apple III, my grandmother used doing accounting and the books for the family business. And my grandfather used the IIc for doing quotes and reports and that kind of stuff. Well, he passed away in 2002 and my grandmother reached out to me, asked if I wanted the Apple III as well as the Apple IIc. I passed on the Apple III and now regret it a lot because <laughs> they had the boxes and all the paperwork and everything for it. I took it to a local pawn shop, got I think like 100 or 200 bucks for it, gave it to my grandmother and that was that. And I took the IIc and I've had it ever since. Well, now in this video, in 2025, I'm going to show you a really cool device that was designed by Rob Kim back in 2023 called the A2C Tangy Pack. And I heard about it through Kansas Fest 2023. And then there was a follow-up presentation for Kansas Fest 2024. So let me grab the device. I'll show you that. We'll hook it up to the 2C and we'll show you how cool it is. Here is the Tangy Pack in a 3D printed case using ABS plastic. Here is the VGA port. Here is the HDMI port. Here is the connector that plugs into the back of the 2C. And on the top we've got some buttons A, B, and C. I'll tell you what those do in just a moment. But yeah, here is what the Tangy Pack looks like. I will put a link to the GitHub in the description down below to where you can get the uh, STL file for the case as well as the build of materials to build your own Tangy Pack. At the time of recording this video, it's about 50 ish dollars US for the build of materials. And then I used PCB Way. This is not a sponsored video, but to do the PCB as well as the ABS plastic uh, 3D printed case. So yeah, there it is. And now let me uh, give you a little bit of information about this awesome piece of kit. Of course, we got to show you some of the parts for this build. Lots of DigiKey bags, Tang Nano 9K FPGA. We've got two boards here just so you can see the back and the top side. I've already started doing some assembly and the build of materials again is down in my video description as well as the github links and all that kind of stuff so yep there you go that's some of the parts you will need for this build right now we're currently using the 2c green screen monitor on the stand and i've got my floppy emu hooked up as well speaking of which i'll put a link to that in the video description below but basically the tangy pack allows you to get vga and hdmi basically dvi video uh, out of the 2C to where you, and it's only for uh, US NTSC at the moment. Um, and uh, laser 128 support was added with firmware version 1.10, which is currently out. So basically the Tangy Pack plugs into the video expansion port of the Apple 2C or 2C Plus and is powered from the port itself. It's a scan doubling device that will take the uh, 560 by 192 video of the Apple IIc and upscale the video to 640 by 480, basically 720 by 480 at 28.63 megahertz pixel rate, video resolution, which is supported by most modern video monitors. The controls are very simple. There's a push button on the top. I showed you those. There's the three buttons and those let you cycle through the options. You got A, B, and C, button A, toggle, scan, line effect, on and off. Button B is the color mode. We, you know, put basically it in color, monochrome green, which is what a standard monitor would be, monochrome amber or monochrome white, which is pretty cool. And option C will 
turn the border off, I have a white border, a border blue or a border green. And that's because some monitors need to have a special signal to be able to you know, get it to show on the screen. Rob goes into the details of that on his GitHub in more detail. So check that link out in my description for all the full specs and how it all works. But now I'm gonna hook it up to my 2C and grab my small little HDMI monitor and show you how amazing this is. All right, we're currently in handheld mode. I just wanted to show it plugged in to the back of my 2C. Got the HDMI cable plugged in there and I'm gonna be using my little HDMI monitor here. So let me get the camera back on the tripod and get some software loaded up and we'll use my green screen and the HDMI at the same time so you can see uh, the comparisons. Okay, I have turned off the lights to try to make it so you can see both screens really well. On the left, we've got the green screen. On the right, we've got my HDMI monitor. On my floppy emu, I have Retro Fever ready to go. So we're gonna tell my ROM X menu here to boot from the external floppy. So number seven, and it's loading it. And on the left, you'll see green, and on the right, it should be color. Just waiting for it to load. Real time, nothing sped up. Look at that, so green on the left, color on the right. We'll just let the demo play. This game came out in 2014 by Brandon Bogle and Brian Pichy. It's a really fun game. Just gonna let the demo keep playing here. What is an unscripted video without technical difficulties? Which is what took place. I had to go and grab my Vizio HDMI monitor because my little one was starting to poop out for whatever reason. But here we are. All right, we got my ROM 4X menu up. I've got Retro Fever on my Floppy Emu ready to go. We're gonna hit seven to load external. Retro Fever will come up and you will see it in awesome color initially. And then I will go through the settings, turning on scan lines off, green, amber, white, and then back to color. So you can see hopefully how nice it looks. So there it is, Retro Fever. Uh, we got scan lines on, scan lines off, green, amber, black and white, and back to color. It looks pretty good in person. Hopefully it's coming across nicely on the camera. But yeah, I will put a link to Rob Kim's GitHub down in the description. I will put a link to the Floppy Emu for those that don't already have one, as well as a download link to get Retro Fever for yourself to use on your Apple II, 2 Plus, 2E, 2C, etc. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we will see you in the next video. Apple II forever.